the beginning of a new dawn for Ethiopia. That's what the African Union called it on Wednesday, as they welcomed a truce between the Ethiopian government and the Tigray rebels. Parties in the Ethiopian conflict have formally agreed to the cessation of hostilities, as well as to systematic, orderly, smooth and coordinated disarmament. The deal would also include the restoration of law, order and services, access to humanitarian supplies and the protection of civilians. And it's welcomed by the rebels. We have made painful concessions because addressing the pains of our people is far more important than the kinds of concessions we have made. Yes, we have made concessions because we have to build trust and we have to make sure that every one of us builds on that trust. With this agreement, the African Union hopes to end a devastating two-year war that began when the leaders of the rebel Tigrayan People's Liberation Front criticised the government for attempting to centralise power. Another disagreement was a peace treaty by Ethiopia and neighbouring Eritrea over disputed territory. And in response, the TPLF organised regional elections in September 2020, deemed illegal by government authorities. Two months later, the first clashes broke out when Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed ordered an offensive against the rebels, who were accused of attacking government army camps. After a five-month ceasefire, the clashes resumed. Although the true toll of the conflict remains unknown, the UN estimates that the civil war has caused nearly 500,000 deaths, with over 2 million people displaced and widespread famine.